ask you guys to comment on your <laughs> the mismatch partnership. Yes. In any episode, it runs the gamut from you know romance to comedy to horror yeah. to whatever straight up violence. You know, um, but um, I guess you you, you just uh, I mean I don't. But know, he can tell you yeah, his yeah, opinion. Com- com- so, comment on or, comment on just like seeing well, the different partnerships. Well, not just the different partnerships. I feel like you guys have your yours has the um, not 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 casting aspersions yeah. on anybody else's partner, but the most. Uh, range of, uh, it, of, of different emotions it's and, it's uh, like a very odd odd couple yes. dynamic right because not only what okay so one of the most interesting or funny things that came up um, in between season one and season two we all had the opportunity to kind of go into the writers room and talk about where our heads were at or where we thought our characters heads were at or where you know what our characters fears would be or what we want out of life or, or out of a partnership or whatever <laughs> and one of the funny things that came up is they go do you think Richie's ever had a girlfriend before and I <laughs> I mean no, no. Yeah, you see him like, <laughs> no way he's ever been in like a relationship so it's funny bracelet. I mean the t- I thought the tennis bracelet thing was hilarious yeah. you got this guy who like in season one was just murdering people left and right and then he's like yeah I got this bracelet it's got and I got my whole little story behind right. it right? it's for eternity and he thinks he's being cute and funny um, but earnest yeah. and like you know uh, emotionally like putting himself out there and she it's a frigid bitch she didn't <laughs> 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 she didn't go for it really but then you see them together in a criminal um and they're, yeah, and they're bond killing bond. it i'm yeah, i got the i've got the guns know, out like, she's tearing people's other. limbs off right they're that's, that's what the really interesting dynamic was yeah, yeah yeah together um as a criminal duo or kicking people's asses right. they're great and then when they're in a car alone together trying to connect and make sense out of what this new partnership and what this life is it's it's strange. I think right? they understand I, that they work, they're good for each other. You know, I think that she knows that he needs her and vice versa. And so she just sometimes tries to be oblivious about what, and he does too. You know, that whole scene after the, the dinner, he's like, I'm just going to eat my steak, you fucking crazy bitch. Mm. But he <laughs> understands, you know what I mean? Like, he understands that there's things that he, but he still needs her. And so, and also, like, I love that even characters like Seth hates the tests. Syntonical, but he also understands the value of the character. He doesn't demean, even though he doesn't like oh, that he, world. He's probably afraid that you'll eat him. Yeah, too. yeah. he understands that he. This is a big, big card in the in the game, and if you want to play the game right, you got to have the right cards. So he has. Everyone understands that, and I love that. And you see it in every character and in every storyline. It's really like, you know, it's really interesting. I think um, what was so interesting about the first episode for us together in season two was what a sort of a far cry it was from that that last scene in episode one where it looks like we're going off into the sunset and everything's going to be great and then then you're sitting in it you're sitting in it three months later or six months later and it's kind of shitty like (laughs) it's not it wasn't everything it was chalked up to be like we're we're dealing with the reality of like living on the run and I'm a vampire now and all this and (laughs) these people want to kill her and my I'm missing my brother and also not just wondering I feel like Richie was he's into the new partnership but he's also trying to be apart from his brother so he can prove Prove to his brother that he doesn't need him to to function but then obviously if you've been watching season two you find out that ultimately they're always going to be drawn back to each other. And I think that's a very, very cool thing to explore for this season. 